Before we get into our post-game show, I owe a beer shotgun. Because I said on the live stream, if you weren't there, that's your fault. I said if someone sends in a $46 super chat before we end the show, I'd do a beer shotgun. Then we ended the stream because no one did. But Carrie Morris said, I beat the buzzer. And she and they did. They beat the buzzer. So I'm going to start the show with a beer shotgun. It's pretty cool. You put a beer in here, cock it open. Let's freaking go. Giants are 6-1. and one. Six and one. Your New York football giants are six and one. All the negative stuff we could talk about doesn't matter because the giants fought their way. They battled and they literally fought until the last second, until the last yard. But your New York football giants are six and one. Appreciate that, Giants fans. It's been a long time. Giants haven't made the playoffs since 2016. That's six, seven years ago. I mean, I'm literally getting chills talking right now. Appreciate it. Don't take it for granted. This is truly incredible what this team has been able to do. We don't have the talent. But we find a way, day in and day out, to win football games. Daniel Jones is tough as nails. 200 yards, one touchdown. If you didn't watch the game, you'll probably say, bad game by Daniel Jones. I say, you didn't watch. The only thing you're watching is the box score. Go back to that fourth quarter. How many big plays did Daniel Jones not only make with his arm, but with his feet. Saquon Barkley was bottled up for most of the first half. I think he had like 17 yards at halftime. Came away with 110 yards. Had a bonehead play. Not sliding. Inbounds. Slid out of bounds. And it all probably aged us 10 years and our stress levels are way too high because of that. Saquon, you got to be better than that. I love you, but I'll hold you accountable. You got to be better than that. Darius Slayton had the first touchdown of the game. Three receptions, 60 yards and a touchdown. Trevor Lawrence, 22 of 43. 310 yards. Travis Etienne was really running all over the Giants at will. 14 carries, 114 yards, and a touchdown. Christian Kirk, 7 for 96. This game goes so much deeper than the stat sheet, though. I mean, grit. I know that's such corny football guy thing to say, but grit. This team has grit. They have heart. They have fight. They never, never give up. Let's do this, though. Because I never take a Giants win for granted. We're going to break down all the stats. We'll talk about Saquon. We'll talk about the injuries. We'll talk about all that. But spam it. Spam it in the chat right now. Giants win. Because your New York football Giants are 6-1. and one. Who knows if we'll ever see a 6-1 and one start again by the New York football Giants. Type it in the chat. Giants win. Giants win. Giants win. I want everyone to type it watching this video. Giants win. We're 6-1. and one. Enjoy it, New York football Giants fans. Before we get to the stats from Saquon, Daniel Jones, another couple big players, let's go over some injuries. Evan Neal left the game in the first half due to a knee injury. Not good. Um, wasn't carted off. Jogged off, but then was carted off to the locker room. So let's type 73 in the comments for our guy Evan Neal. Let's hope he's okay. Same as Ben Bredesen. The Giants won this game with two backup offensive linemen in the game. I'll just, I think it's fine to push Jack. Left, left the game with a knee injury. Ben Bredesen, the starting left guard. I mean, look, the fact that the Giants were able to win this football game with two backup offensive linemen in, it's just a credit to Daniel Jones and this coaching staff. I'm so proud to be a New York football Giant fan. Daniel Bellinger had a really, really scary injury. Left the game with an eye injury. Um, literally got poked in the eye. Probably has somewhat close to a scratch cornea. Um, he was bleeding. He went to the hospital. Let's hope he's okay. Daniel Bellinger left the game with an eye injury. Adoree Jackson was being evaluated for a concussion. Came back into the game. That's all the Giants injury news we have. We're going to continue to break this game down bit by bit. But I first want to give a shout out to our proud sportsbook partner and the people that put the lights on here at Chat Sports. Shout out to BetUS. Chatsports.com slash bet. Promo code chat125. And if you're listening, start listening really closely. Because so I talked with the bosses, and I'm giving you guys a free jersey. If you want a free jersey, listen closely. 
Go to chatsports.com slash bet. You have to use the promo code chat125. This is a chat sports deal, not a bet US deal. So listen up, take a screenshot of what's on screen right now. When you go to chatsports.com slash bet and use that promo code chat125, sign up and deposit 100 bucks or more. You'll get the 125 deposit. So you'll have 225 bucks in your account with. Make your first bet. Do not, I repeat, do not make your first bet with all of the money in your account. Do not do that. That's just dumb. Once you make your first bet, email us, jersey at chatsports.com. Send us a picture of your first bet. Send us a picture of your account number. When you do all those things, chatsports.com slash bet, put 100 bucks into your account, get a free 125 bucks, make your first bet, send us your account number and your first bet. I am personally going to give you a free jersey. You can either get a Saquon Barkley jersey or you can either get a Daniel Jones jersey. The jersey giveaway is only... For subscribers. So if you're not a subscriber, hit that big red button. And it's a chat sports deal, not a bet US deal. So go back, screenshot it, do what you do, and we'll get you a free jersey. Either Saquon or Daniel Jones. We'll let you choose. Speaking of Daniel Jones, he was electric. 19 to 30, 202 yards, five drops. Um, I mean, this dude battled back. He he fought. He never gave up. I said before the season, I don't think Daniel Jones is the guy. He might be. Daniel Jones might be our guy going forward, guys. I know stats aren't pretty. I know stats aren't sexy. But it's all about grit. Look at these stats now on screen. 11 carries for 107 yards and a touchdown from your quarterback when the play needed to be made. Daniel Jones stepped up. So many rushing plays for first downs. I am so proud of Daniel Jones, man. It's incredible what this guy's been able to do. Are the stats pretty? No. But you know what is pretty? Six and frickin' one. Six and one is damn pretty. That's frickin' pretty. Let's grade Daniel Jones' performance. I want all the real ones and Giants Now subscribers to grade Daniel Jones' performance right now in the comment section. A, B, C, D, or F. Get out your red pens. We're going back to school. A, B, C, D, or F. <clears throat> I give it an A. I give it an A. Daniel Jones, once again, won the Giants a football game with his heart. As corny as that sounds, I love that guy. I'm proud he's my quarterback. A, B, C, D, or F. Great Daniel Jones' performance. And Saquon Barkley, I mean, I'm upset that he went out of bounds and possibly cost the Giants a loss. He'd be, he'd be feeling that if that loss was on him. But, man, the Giants got out of it, so it doesn't really matter. 24 carries, 110 yards, 4.6 yards per pop. What did he have at halftime? Like 18 rushing yards? Something like 18 rushing yards. Had 100, damn near 100 rushing yards in the second half. He was great. He also had a couple of catches. Darius Slayton had the Giants' first touchdown of the game. Three receptions for Darius Slayton. 58 yards and a touchdown. Um, you know, a guy that was kind of glued to the bench to start the season. Kind of making some big plays for the Giants. Three receptions. 58 yards and a touchdown. This team just never quits. This team never says die. This team just always finds a way to do it. This team just always finds a way to do it. I'm, in, I'm proud. Um, kind of at a loss for words, honestly. I mean, if you would have told me four months ago the Giants would be 6-1 and one with games coming up against the Lions, the Texans, and the Seahawks, I would have told you you're crazy. This team could be 9-1. and one. That's how special this coaching staff, this team, and I'm so proud. Make sure you're subscribed to New York Giants now by Chat Sports as we are 57 subs away from 17,000 subscribers. That is so many people. That is so many people. 17,000 subs. That's a credit to you guys. I'm just a kid that grew up root for the New York Giants that prayed and chased my dreams of talking about the Giants for a living and we almost got 17,000 strong. If you haven't yet, hit that big red button. And if you are subscribed, I want you to type real one in the comments right now. Trevor Lawrence looked pretty good. I mean, he had some plays where he probably would have liked back. Had some plays that, you know, didn't go his way. But he's a good quarterback. Didn't let him throw a touchdown. Held him to 17 points. Giants defense stepped up in the second half. Go back to that fourth down play where Doug Peterson tried to go for it when they had an easily kickable field goal. Giants stopped Trevor Lawrence on a QB sneak. Giants get to stop at the end of the game. 
I mean, look, they weren't good in the first quarter. They weren't good in the second quarter. They weren't good in the third quarter of the Giants' defense. But in the fourth quarter, when it mattered, they were freaking good. They were freaking good. One more time, we'll look at the stats, and I'll pull up some stats to see if I'm missing any on my phone real quick. Another guy that had a really good game, Wandale Robinson. Wandale had six catches for 50 yards, including a carry for 17 yards. Matt Breedle was good. He had four carries for 19 yards. Saquon also had four receptions for 25 yards. I mean, Kayvon Thibodeau was held time and time again. I know he had no sacks, but he had multiple QB hits. Um, Fabian Morrow played great. He had a couple of huge pass breakups at the end. I'm proud. Make sure y'all give me a follow on Twitter at Marshall Green underscore. I appreciate everybody that gives me a follow on today's show. Everybody that does, I'll give you a follow back. Just DM me and say six and one. If you follow me, send me a DM, say six and one, and I'll give you a follow back. Every single person that gives me a follow at Marshall Green underscore and sends me a DM that says six and one, I'll give you a follow back. 